everyone, welcome back to our vegan dining room. <laughs> it's a dining office. It is a dining office. We don't dine in here, but we do office in here. We do. <laughs> well, it's another one of those January favorites. Yeah, January favorites. Love it. This is it, guys. This is what we love. This is what we love. So, um, true to form, I have a few things that are actual, like, vegan products, and then I have a lot of things that are just things that I like. <laughs> Mine are all vegan products. Cool. How on brand. Our dog just started chewing that stupid bone that Aww. they left in the dining office. He loves. At least he's enjoying himself, right? <sighs> At least he's not barking. Yeah, I'll take this over barking. All right, well, I only have food on my list, so should we begin with should the food? Should we start with the foods? Okay. I bet we have a lot of the same ones. <laughs> well, these are, okay, here are my things. So, um, I've told you guys in the past that I love Just Egg, mm -hmm. the egg replacement. That's on here. I have that. Yeah. But, but I also have Simply Egg. Okay, yeah, we've been liking that as quiche. Like, it works right. really well in quiche and cookies, too. And baking. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but we just got, for the first time, the folded Just Egg. The folded egg, yes. Yeah. Which has been delicious. Your father found it by accident in ShopRite. Can well, you imagine? <laughs> I've had it quite a few times now, and it's been really good. And you don't have to cook it. Yeah, I've it's just been popping it you. in the toaster, which is fun. It's like, done. And it tastes really good. I wouldn't, um, Dad asked me this morning, actually, like, who's better at making it? You or and just you said egg? you. And I said me. So I but will say, like. truth? No. What's it's the real tea? <laughs> It's just different. Like theirs is a lot neater and everything, but mine I feel like has a little more flavor. The texture is a little bit different. But you can when I prepare it myself. But, season it however you want. Oh yeah, I have. I've been adding seasoning. But the thing is, like, if you're looking for that convenience factor, mm -hmm. the folded one is great because right. you don't have as much cleanup, and you it's just only like throw it in the fifty toaster. cents more expensive. Yeah from what we pay. So it depends I mean, on your depends your personal you preference. But yeah, I've been loving that. Loving smoothies. I haven't had them in a while. This month I brought them back. And uh, even though it's cold out, I'm still really enjoying them. Mm -hmm. And clementines. That's oh. been my snack of choice lately. You have to marry that box of clementines. We have this thing. Whenever we bring something like clementines into the house, whoever has requested them has or to something promise. that's big. And might spoil. Yes. You have to promise that you're going to eat them. You have to sign a prenuptial agreement. Because it, it's just sad when they all go to waste. So I've yeah. been fulfilling my oath. You really and, have. Uh, I have to. <laughs> I've been enjoying the clementines. Mm -hmm. What do you have on your list? Well, I have at the top of my list vitamin water. Oh. I really, really love my vitamin water. Mm -hmm. I got one bad kidney. So I have to drink a lot of uh, fluids. Yeah. Otherwise, my kidney goes, hey, we hate you. <laughs> Water. Yeah, you have to go to the doctor and have them do stuff. No. So I don't want that. So I'm going to drink. You're going to be a good girl. I'm going to be a good girl. <laughs> and vitamin water helps me do that because I'm not, a, I'm not the biggest fan of plain water. But the vitamin water is really good. It tastes good. It uses stevia. Mm -hmm. And it's not super bitter like a lot of stevia drinks are. And even if you water it down to like, you know, I'll drink like half sometimes and then I'll fill the rest with water yeah. and then it's still good. There you it's go. It's still good. Okay. I also have my next beverage as oat milk. Yes. All of the oat milks are so delicious. So creamy. Oatly. Planet Oat. Um, <laughs> silk. Uh, Califia Farms. I know I'm going to be leaving people out. People. People. <laughs> I'd like to thank, yeah. um, no, that even the Aldi oat milk, which is way cheaper than any of the other oat milks that I've seen, is absolutely delicious. What would you do if somebody got up during an awards show and was like, I'd like to thank, first oat and milk? foremost, Oatly? <laughs> I would say, thank Good you. for you. Yes. All right. Uh, spray aminos. Mm. Life changing. Mm -hmm. This is... Basically, a glass spray bottle with liquid aminos in it. And if you're not familiar with liquid liquid aminos, it is a gluten-free, uh, like, soy sauce that is lower in sodium mm -hmm. than regular soy sauce. It's very tasty. It just opens up a whole world of possibilities when you have that in a spray because mm -hmm. 
for popcorn, when you pop your popcorn in hot air, there's no oil to make the seasoning stick to it. So you really have to either spray it with something or spray it with something. Oh! <laughs> so the liquid aminos, it doesn't taste like soy sauce. Mm -hmm. It just tastes nice. So I really, I like, you know, because sometimes you don't want soy sauce popcorn. Right. Most of you don't want soy sauce popcorn. But you want like some flavor in there. Right. And I actually used it on the vegetables the other night instead of, you know, dumping a bunch of salt on there. And it was, it was really nice. It was. It was good. Yeah. All right. Um, Miyoko. Miyoko girl, if you ever see this, you are the top. Mm -hmm. All right. She's got uh, some oat milk cheese. I've always wanted to eat uh, Miyoko's cheeses. Uh-huh. First of all, they're very expensive. I know they're expensive to produce, so I don't... Like, we get it. We get it. We get it. But they've come down in price a lot, because I guess, you know, margins and everything. Mm -hmm. So, I can't eat them, though. They're nut-based. And then Miyoko, like, she heard me. She heard me calling from New York. I need a cheese that's not, you know, uh, nuts. Mm-hmm. So she made oat milk cheese, And it's so good. They're so, so convincing. Creamy. Delicious. Yeah, the texture is great. The taste is great. And not ridiculously expensive either. Because mm -hmm. I would imagine the nut cheeses are pretty expensive to uh, produce because nuts are expensive, but oats aren't. Yeah. So I love them. And the Miyoko's oat milk butter. Oh my God. If you blindfolded somebody and you gave them that, they would think that they were eating real butter. For real. Yeah. I'm totally serious on this. I know sometimes I stretch the truth a little bit to get you guys intrigued <laughs> into maybe trying something that you wouldn't normally try, but this oat milk butter, it's legit. I don't use it very often, but I've had it a few times and it was pretty good. It's really good. And then we said the Simply Egg. Okay. All right. Uh, the cauliflower crackers and snacks. Yeah. Like those cauliflower straws. They're the devil. <laughs> I can't remember the uh, brand. Maybe if I put some pictures up, I'll put the picture up mm -hmm. of it here. But they make crackers and, and straws, and they're, like, cheesy flavored, and they're really, Delicious. They're really good. It's like, ooh, that's the whole bag already. <laughs> but the really, really good ones are the Back to Nature cheese yes, squares. Yes, those are so good. Would you say yes, queen? I would. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Delicious. And they're, they're everywhere. You don't even have to go to, like, a special store for that. He's eating a little baseball. Oh, he's got a little toy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, my purple shampoo, my best friend. That's not food. Why oh. don't you do this other food item? Because I have a category <laughs> oh, for <okay>. that. <laughs> the Violife mozzarella is probably uh, the best mozzarella. I haven't tried the Miyoko's because I can't. Mm -hmm. But the Violife mozzarella shreds. Yes. So good. All of, you know what? I'm going to go as far as saying all of the Violife line of cheeses, top shelf, mm -hmm. top shelf, and very competitively priced. So um, that's all the food that I have. All right. Now we're going to talk about like beauty, hair, and clothing. So. Yes, mother. Give us your, <laughs> give us your shampoo. All right. My one item, I believe it's like the uh, Make Me Pastel or something. Yeah, something like that. It's a color depositing shampoo and it's in purple because I have very brassy hair after mm -hmm. I bleach my hair. But and the purple looks so nice in there. It's barely in there now because the last time I did it, I just mixed it with another shampoo so okay. it wouldn't be as intense, which is nice because you can adjust the intensity and the more you use it in a row the more the color builds up mm -hmm. so like the first time you shampoo you're like oh wow that's purple and then the second time it's like ooh, that's a little more there you know and if you keep doing it it keeps leaving more and more purple in your hair but right. then when you don't want it to be there you just wash your hair with regular shampoo and it pretty much takes 80 percent of it out there you go each time so yeah it's good it. that it's not permanent but it's fun. Yeah. And you know, we're in the middle of a pandemic, and I you say need the a middle, little something. Thing, and who knows? Mm -hmm. But yeah, life's too short to not have fun purple hair. Yeah. Right? Agreed. All right. So, my uh, beauty products that I want to talk about 
are really important in the winter, and these might be super boring, but they're necessary. So my number oh, one you is brought them? the Simply Saline Nasal Mist. Oh, I'm going to start using that this weekend, actually. This is very important because I am very prone to bloody noses, mm -hmm. especially when it's dry and cold. So this is a lifesaver for me. This I'm not great. prone to bloody noses, but I am prone to uh, sinus infections. Mm, this will help. Yeah. I haven't had one sinus infection, I don't think, since I've gone vegan. Oh, yeah? Yeah, but this winter is a little special. It's a rough one, sir. It's a rough one. Uh, going along with the dryness, this is my favorite moisturizer that I've been using for a long time yeah, now. Yeah, you've been using this one for years. This specific bottle, too. I kind of scraped off a lot of the writing <laughs> by accident, but it's the Acure... Uh, brightening day cream and yeah, that does not want to focus no, it doesn't. there you go and uh, it's terrific I like mm -hmm. it because it's lightweight when it goes on but it does a really good job of actually moisturizing my face and I use this in the morning and at night and people are always asking like how do you look so young <laughs> um, Honestly, moisturizing is super important for your skin. It's a good price, too. Yeah. If you get this it on not Subscribe and Save, I think it's like under $10. That's a great deal. It is. Um, my other thing was my sea salt hairspray that I use. Oh, yes. Not your mother's. Not your mother's. Right. Which is very good. Because I don't really do that much to my hair Banana flavor. Or I banana scented. Banana scented. <laughs> no one eats that. I hope. No. <laughs> so um, those are my like beauty beauty things. Also, I wrote down hair ties. I like oh, these yeah. hair ties. We that, got those um, at TJ's. Yeah. TJ Maxx. I don't know what I would describe this as. It is a telephone cord. There we go. Yeah. So I noticed people using this on Big Brother over the past summer, and I was like, those are fun. And then mm -hmm. I saw them at TJ Maxx, and I was like, Let's give it a try. And they're so great because they, they really are. lock your hair into place. But they don't pull it out, right? They don't pull. Mm -hmm. And I have a few different textures. So this one is kind of like a plasticky. Mm -hmm. But then I have like a matte finish one. And there's like a fabric covered one. Is that a little more one. grippy? Yeah. So like this one, I don't know. You can figure it out. But like there's different textures that work better for different situations. They were so. cheap too, weren't they? Like three ninety nine. They were for pretty like cheap, five yeah. Or something you, can, like that? you can get them in all different sizes. So and they last a long time. They don't uh, lose their yeah. elasticity. I the first time I used it I was like, Wow, I'm really stretching this thing mm -hmm. out and then it just went back to mm -hmm. the original size and I was like, What? Yeah. So really, really love those. He's really going to town on that toy. Oh, Bowie. He said, this is my favorite right now. Yes. Uh, That's and his January favorite. Yeah. My Total baseball. My clothing that I wrote down. Um, joggers, mm -hmm. specifically oh, the yes. Stars Above ones from Target. Mm -hmm. I just got my first pair of joggers a few weeks ago. Wow. And my second one. For my birthday. Nice. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yes, we already did your birthday shopping. Yeah, and I've basically been going through a rotation of like a few different sweatshirts, which have been <laughs> my wardrobe lately. I'm wearing a sweater today, but this is kind of rare right up. now. Yeah. Um, I've been wearing we a lot a of sweatshirts stream. lately. Yeah. That's just how life is nowadays, you know? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, I want to go over some shows real quick that we've been enjoying. Okay. And I think you'll agree on these because we've been watching a lot of these together. Mm -hmm. uh, on Point on Disney Plus. <gasps> oh, it's a show. A delight. Yeah, it's only six episodes, a documentary series about the School of American Ballet. Yes. Uh, specifically as they're getting ready for the Nutcracker, but then they also have the older students that are doing other things. And it was an amazing show, and I wish there was more of it. It all makes sense now. For years, I was seeing people on Instagram saying, oh, my child is going to be in the Nutcracker in Lincoln Center, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And now I see how that's possible. Mm -hmm. But it was great, and I love all those cuties. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> The kids were amazing. I'm excited to see where their careers go in the future. Some of these kids were so mature, mm -hmm. I felt so immature. <laughs> and they were like 10 and under. Yeah. They were amazing. Amazing. Uh, we've also been watching RuPaul's Drag Race a lot together. Mother, yes. We're watching the current season, of course, but we're also going through all the seasons because we only started watching it about a year ago. Mm -hmm. Uh, because we're dumb, and <laughs> yes. right now we're going in order, and right now we're on All Stars three, right? And it's a good group. We're really loving it. Oh, BB, I'm so glad she's back. And Ben, Ben Bendela. de la Creme, 
Ah, oh, one of my all-time favorite queens. Mm -hmm. Love Vanda La Creme. Yeah. Um, let's see. We finished up The Crown this month, mm -hmm. which is always amazing. But this season especially was incredible with um, Princess Diana Princess and Diana, Margaret Thatcher. And the guy who played Princess... Uh, Prince... <laughs> The guy who played Prince Charles. He, oh my god, he's such a shit on the show, so but he's so talented. Good. Yeah. So they made it for me. They, they were absolutely fantastic. made it. And of course, Olivia Coleman. Of course. Oh dear. She's a workhorse. <laughs> She's okay? amazing. Um, and then you haven't really been watching this, but I've been loving Community, which you can watch on Netflix. I watch it. I I pop in and out when yeah. you're watching it, and it's always a good time. That one is my like exercise bike show that mm -hmm. I watch, but also sometimes after everybody else falls asleep. But it's really funny. Um, so I've been loving I call that. Call that hipster office. Yeah, I could see it's like along those lines. Yeah. Uh, and one of our we didn't watch this yet, but our upcoming viewing, we are planning on watching Bridgerton because a lot of people mm -hmm. have been asking about it. Yes, that is right up our alley, and we will be checking that out. Yes, for sure. All right. Music. <laughs> um, okay, just real quick, because I feel like we've been talking forever. But, okay, real quick. I'm on a Sondheim kick, so I've been listening to <laughs> Sunday in the Park with George. Love it. Follies, Company. Love all those. Also, um, some of my favorite classical pieces and everything that I've been listening to lately. Uh, the Rachmaninoff Piano Concertos. Okay. Number two is the best. Um, Swan Lake, the whole ballet. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. And um, ABBA. <laughs> well, I'm always listening to ABBA. <laughs> you're wondering who the 50-something-year-old is and who the 30-something-year-old <laughs> is. I like anything with Dua Lipa nice. or The Weeknd or... Um, who else was on there that I was like, oh, man, this is so good. Because I, I listen you to... You listen to a lot of the radio. I listen to a lot of pop mm -hmm. in the morning and in the afternoon when I get uh, my son from his drop-off point. And I've really been enjoying the weekend. I've really been enjoying Dua Lipa. Nice. Um, oh, God, I can't think of... I, there's a couple of others that have some real... Like, I is it St. John? Is mm -hmm. that one of... The one <laughs> I don't know. Uh, really good. Um, even uh, the guy with all the tats on his face. I can't think. Oh, Post Malone. Post Malone, yeah. Really good. Really talented. Okay. Really talented. And I just wanted to round things out with books because you guys have been asking about that lately too. So at the Saint beginning. St. Vincent. That's oh, St. Vincent. Okay, yeah. Yeah, St. Vincent's go. great. Got my saints mix mixed up. <laughs> <laughs> um, at the beginning of the month, I read... Rupi Kaur's new poetry book, Homebody, mm -hmm. which was great. Um, which you I got will for say Christmas. though, yeah, I got that for Christmas. I will say, I didn't, I, I don't know, maybe I just, I didn't connect as much to this one as her first two. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if it's just because like I'm in a different place in my life now or what. Like I still really enjoyed it. I just didn't have the same personal connection to this one. I, I wasn't relating to a lot of her experiences, but maybe I still, you're happier now. I, I think that is part of it. I don't know, because a lot of these were um, sad. But, mm -hmm. yeah, I still really enjoyed it, and it was great to get somebody else's perspective. And then, <laughs> also, yeah. I've been doing my reread of Pride and Prejudice, which is, it's just a great, it's a great novel. I know. It's one of my favorite novels. <laughs> At all. You read your, um like, veg magazines and stuff. I don't read any novels or anything of importance, so... That, that's not true! Magazines are not just, like, throwaways. Okay. It depends on the magazine. Yeah. Yeah, there's some hard-hitting articles in Us Weekly. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, though, like, some magazines have some really good content still, so... They do. They don't poo-poo the magazines. I won't. All right, well, those are our favorites for this month. Let us know, um what your favorites are. And that actually brings us to the end of Veganuary. Mm. Whoa. Whoa. So did we want to... make it? Yeah, we yeah. want to thank you guys all so much. I don't so know if I did or not. <laughs> for going on this journey with us. It's been a lot of fun. It's been a crazy time. It's been vegan. It's been vegan. And we will have some exciting announcements coming up very soon. Whoa. <laughs> I'm excited for this. Yeah, so... Actually, I don't even know when we'll be announcing that. It might even be before this, but... It might be. <laughs> we'll see what happens, so... You'll have to travel back to the future, get in your DeLorean. Yeah. 
<laughs> so thank you all so much for watching. Keep yeah, doing your thing. And until next time, much, much love. love.